Hello, everybody. We're, uh, going back to, uh, World of Horror. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new and unknown threats. Old gods. Malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at the last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've arrived in the doomed town. Atrasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Old gods rule, you cannot escape from common encounters. So we start out here with... who is this here? She starts with a spell. Usually I don't fuck with spells because they cost reason. Let's go to the Teen Winch one. And then we always check the, the figure. There's money. I remember when it started. The woman next to me was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and the apartment remained vacant. The door to her apartment was closed, and she lived alone. What other ways are there in there? Maybe you can get to the apartment plan to compare with other flats? You enter the hospital looking for information about a certain patient. The main corridor is dark and strangely empty. You spot a nurse at the registration booth. She's asleep from exhaustion. You could sneak past her, see what happens. You manage to sneak past her. Unfortunately, the old cabinet squeaks loudly, waking the nurse. You're thrown out of the hospital. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Ah! Anatomical Museum Archive displays a specimen with elongated arms and jellified bones. Might as one reason. So we learned a new thing that'll help us with the, uh, I guess get the best ending. Let's actually do the plot. The road seems to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Hello, well, well, wait, well, let's get lost. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. The apartment is on the third floor. There's no way someone used the window to escape the murder scene. Escape the apartments! When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in the mailbox. Uh, I guess read the letters. Oh, man! You've attracted the attention of something truly evil. So, yeah, this is a thing that can go horribly wrong if we, um... As you can see here, we actually... Unlocked a new effect. Basically, if we keep getting this, um, we're fucked. That's it. That's all just say. We're fucked. You notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem too small for anyone to crawl through, though. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there! Get close to the door. Okay, yeah, so we can do with either. Let's, let's get closer. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. You should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed. A woman jumps out out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a sho shower suddenly when the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Ah! Uh, check the bathroom? You don't enter the bathroom. Instead, you go straight to the building's boiler room. One pipe coming from the ground looks like it was welded to the central system recently. Where does it lead? Wood neighbors complaining about her underwear missing. Okay. You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. 
Hey. Yeah, I don't really have an usher. Ah, shit. Um. Now we got a concussion. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, this only lasts till the end. Uh, yeah, so we'll have minus one knowledge. But uh, there's only much else we can do. We can't. We can't leave. We got it. We got a baseball bat. Second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the fence when she's at home. I wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. You scare away the annoyed predator and to rip open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Well, we do get a nice ring. I also put it on. Try to... Nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. Go away. You can access the rooftop, but I don't know what... There's no real point. Like, you can talk with the student, but it says, you pro student is probably is mumbling something to herself. You should probably leave her alone. As far as I know, you can't. And, yeah, there's no... There's a set up a telescope, but you don't have one. I don't think this is in the game yet. So, let's check the building plan to find out if there is a place where all the vents connect. For that, let's go to the shop for items. Check out the dog store. Yeah, I guess we should get the compass. We're checking for uh, plans to the apartment or whatever. Mr. Ooh, your neighbor is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for the newest story. Yeah, share your experience. Incredible, he shouts in excitement. How do you come up with this stuff? Sensing this story will be a huge hit, he pays you a token of appreciation. So yeah, we lose experience because like we literally We literally gave away experience to him. If you don't know, this is obviously a reference to Junji Ito. Every room is connected by vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? You enter the dark boiling room and trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Check the vent. Uh... Ah! You almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert. His elongated limbs stretching and disappearing into the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. After the police have arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, the detective find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur po photos of the tenants. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of an unfortunate gas leak. Alarming account of abnormal arms. Ending A. Roads leading out of the town were closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. Uh, you'll get extra doom. Because you'll take a little more time getting out into certain locations. Take a bath. We'll... And, uh, since we're running low on reason, we'll use cold water. So that tiny key is the thing I was talking about. You can use it for, a a thing here. You'll see what I mean when I... Spine-chilling scissors. Oops. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you, study, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst that can happen? The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the ruin rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first drawing the Eldritch Sigil and then lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So, like I said, you don't have access to the map. Instead, you only have, like, these. And you'll get the friend's diary. Uh, Maro is acting strange. I need to talk to her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. 
I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. I think this is a strange tall woman has been following me all day. I should hurry. I must hurry up. Other pages steam a roll into the case. I hope they're okay. Let's check out the school lacquers. Oh, right. That's the one you're not supposed to. Okay. I know one of these you shouldn't open. Uh, I think I think you get you lose reason or stamina. I forget which one. Uh, you get the wooden bat, and then this is the one you need the key for, and you get a fucking rifle. Check this shit out. You can use this as a melee, but it's not as good. Maybe we can equip it just in case. So now we can explore the school, and then you. You have, like, little random whatevers, just, you know, like, in the game. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Uh, yeah, let's help her. Creepy, such a substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Plus five experience. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. So... You enter the class, the art classroom. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerie, eerily realistic. Uh, you always want to check out the masks. I think the sculpture always turns out to be something bad, but the masks... Gives you, yeah, one mask looks similar to the design you saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. So we get the mask, uh, and like I said, if you if you equip it, you'll get a small chance of ignoring reason loss. And uh, yeah, it appears on your guy. That's neat. Something evil stalks the empty school corridors. You find an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry and find it. Uh, well, let's take a peek outside what that does <gasps> well to open the door click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed so oh hey hello hi there hey you want to be my friend i need a new neighbor you want you want to come over and play zelda with me hey hey oh oh okay you shouldn't risk that again. Yeah, if you try to, if you open it up all the way, it automatically closes. Nothing happens from that. That's just, a, I don't know. I don't even think you lose anything. That's just a thing you can do. That's just a thing that happens. Let's keep exploring the school. On the roof, you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, she holds a bag. In the other, a pair of bloody scissors. Maru, marked by the scissor lady. So this isn't the tall lady, this is a victim of the tall lady, of the scissor lady. So, um... Uh... Oh wait, we should... A save attack. Because then if we want to, we can shoot, and that'll, that'll pretty much instantly kill her. Like it says here, 14 damage, 85 time, I guess that's how much it would take on the thing here. But it looks like, let me see, 3 damage, 3 damage, 6 on sequence. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much else we can... Oh, the ritual mask uh, protects me, okay. Meet it, Maru. You find the blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in the ritual. You copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. So, okay. So this is where we have to look at the uh, the uh, symbol here. And as you can see, it's a triangle, and then it's a straight line, and a and then a bent line with a, with a circle at the end. And then you just click on these. That's all you get. A rough approximation, though. So. But we can't Perform the ritual yet because we don't have the holy candles. So we gotta keep exploring the school. Putting your hand in that hole was a bad idea. Seeing seeing the big spider escape, you hope it wasn't poisonous. 
Well, that was a bad idea. Hopefully it'll go away on its own. We can't do anything about it now. We don't have access to the hospital, so we'll just keep going. Explore the school. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you are not the only student here. A girl wearing a wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she starts getting closer. The young witch. Um Nope. Damn it. Regular attack. Damn it. There we go. So now... Wait, what's that? Steak knife! Uh, well, it's dexterity. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as expected by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. So, let's put away the diary. Uh, let's perform the ritual. What's that? You take a step back as the writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Twisting and twitching. The demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly, menacingly. Am I beautiful? So, yeah. Yeah, might as well use the button. Because I think, yeah, we have two bullets, so might as well. Um, you can see here, though, you don't have ear protection. You don't. You never get ear protection, so every time you fire a, um, um, a firearm, you get ringing ears. So, like, you kind of... But... We're almost done anyway. Take three damage. We can't really switch weapon. Well, we can throw. And then, uh, yeah, let's throw this. Yeah! Got it. Throw shit at her. And they won't take up turns or whatever, so. We defeated her. Agent Horror lies dead on, on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him and limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Fine chilling story of school scissors ending A. Face cut open, like the Joker. Scissor Woman is gone for good, or is it? You shudder, knowing that the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon, summon the Eldritch Fiend. The air feel, feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. So yeah, that makes it so that the rest section... We also gained a level. Uh, let me see here. Additional damage against ghost, ghost and eldritch enemies. Yeah, that probably would be a good idea. So I'm going to use Dexterity, because that'll be good for the steak knife. Freaky feature of found footage. Uh, let's try this one. Freaky feature of found footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he and what did the students discover out there? Investigate this mystery. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about the local folklore. Maybe you'll find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school newspaper. So, yeah, obviously, like, a lot of these... A lot of these different mysteries are based off of, you know, or just heavily inspired by other horror stuff. So, as we see here, three people missing in the forest. Obviously, this is a uh, Blair Witch reference, but... You know, set in the... In our Junji Ito Lovecraft... Fuck universe, whatever. Perfect, yes. So you're only gonna know this unless you play this again. I, I, I and I, so I'm kind of meta gaming, uh, I guess. If that's a, why would I want to buy a cannon acid? I don't know. Who knows? Who 
find a black, heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old block cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Fuck it, burn it! You may never know what's inside the hideous book, but that's a good thing. Oh, yeah, now our wounds become infected. So, um... But what we can do is we can go to the hospital... And then, uh, if we go to the doctor's office, you know, we'll, it, it'll take time, so you get two doom. And then, emergency department is crowded as a direct result of the weird things happening in this town. You finally arrive. You, you finally are asked to the doctor's office. How can I help you today? So, basically what this means is that I can click on the actual things, and now I have an option to get surgery done. Usually if it's like, tr if it's like a, if it's a lesser injury, There'll be a button that says treatment, and you'll lose one fund. This one, because it's major, it's now it's surgery. This is the only one available, so we'll do this. Uh, and then you'll get a um, you'll get some uh, other effect based on randomly. Uh, this time we get blood loss. Uh, so our max stamina has gone down. You bandage the fresh wounds. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Time flies by so fast. You prepare yourself to leave and continue your, your long investigation. We do one more. That's good. Let's go to the mansion. Do that one more time. Corpses are strung up on wire like macabre marionettes, painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Nice to read. The legend says the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and mur murdering two children. It points you to a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. Although we seem to have lost three, but reason, I don't know if that was because of the thing we just did, but whatever. Go to the corridor. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's this one. You notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse, finds to reason. The notes mention a village not too far from your own. You decide to take a bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees have suddenly died. What happened here? Go downtown. Ah! When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. When you reach for the package, you stop suddenly, seeing a familiar face in a nearby advertisement. Something truly evil has your set now. Now I have nothing to do. Like I said, this happens one or two more times. Basically, we're fucked. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly friendly. An old farmer points you to an old stone. The missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. friend returned from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meals. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks you if you want to take anything home with you. This steak is to die for! I knew you'd like it, your friend says, waking and packaging it for you. So we get long pig long pig steak. Yeah. You know. Long pig. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you never, uh, you never heard of long pig. Oh, it's just, you know, oh, yeah, it's it's, it's it's an acquired taste. You know, uh, you really get a, you get a real you get a real uh, taste for it, and uh, you, you you know you get this craving for long pig once in a while. That was incredible. We're not gonna do it yet. As you can see, it adds a new status. It might be bad. Looking back one last time, you continue deeper into the woods. So now you have all these, you have to click on these different squares, and that'll, that'll do, um, more encounters. Uh, a sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave walls. Try to decipher them. We don't have a flashlight. You recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing our town. I've experienced. You have a feeling someone's following you. So we just have to keep doing this until we get to the get to the end you walk through the crowded space in the forest while somebody bumps you uh before you realize your wallet is missing oh no we lost our wallet in the forest a 
parasitic organism buries under the bark. The parasitic organism bur burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Well, cut it open. I guess we, we have, a, we have a, a, a knife, so let's cut it open. Cut the tree and quench your thirst with the dark red sap. Okay, sure. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Fuck it. Let's do it. You find, it. You find a pile of human teeth lying on a nearby rock. You have a feeling that you're being watched with a very branch snapping. You'll quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the tree just a few meters away. Confront the person. The, the decomposing skin and vacancy. The decomposing skin and vacant st stare can only mean one thing. It's a corpse someone's has propped up. The idea that somebody could do it so close to you and so quietly makes you shudder. Plus do doom. Shape shimmers beneath the surface. With a splashy sound, something emerges from the murky depths. Uh, I guess those are leeches? It looks like a... But whatever. We're, uh... Uh... Okay, let's do this. We'll have seven. Do seven damage that way. Special attack and then regular attack. We did it! Get another level. Uh, let me see here. Arcane. Dexterity. We can use the extra dexterity, and we can use the extra dexterity. So, let's do that. All the path paths look the same. Are you lost? Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. It's probably dedicated to some local spirit. Spirit. A small statue looks alien and menacing. Let's fucking destroy, fucking destroy that shit. You topple the evil-looking statue and discover a money beneath it. Bundle of money beneath it. Fuck it, yeah. Let's fucking just steal the... <laughs> uh, God damn, how many more of these things I have to... While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Uh, we don't have a ca so We don't have a camera, so we have to do this. You're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Oh, we got... Come on, 50-50 chance at this point. Ah, the rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointing at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Take it side. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you're looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast blurs you in. Well, good thing we have this can of acid. Fuck it. You open the can of acid and empty its contents in the well. The house's foundation shakes as the massive creature's eyes burn. Walls begin to collapse as you pass out from the toxic fumes. You wake up later from the, with the cassettes in your trembling hand. The witch's house is nowhere to be seen. Freaky feature of found footage. Ending A. Oh yeah. That was the best ending because I got the can of acid or whatever. So, oh, I didn't get um, I didn't get any uh, health back, but whatever. Old gut stirs. Oh no, this is the worst one. There's something wrong with the tap water. It's black and oily, glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's only a temporary issue. Basically, we can never take baths again. Um, let me see here. So, right now, you can't do anything with the tapes. It, it's just not in the game yet. This is early access, so we, we have nothing. We can't do anything with them. We can't even sell them or put them away. We can only, put, we can only, we can only stuff them. Um, we still have our long pig. You know, at any time, we need, you know, we got some, we need to have some long pig. There we go. Um, like I said, if you try to use the, the, bath. It's just, they still didn't fix the water problem. It is black and oily and glistening. There's no way you're going to wash yourself in that. If you had a bottle of water, you can use that, but the chances of you getting a bottle of water is kind of rare. So, nothing we can do. 
And no, you can't use like the TV with the tapes because the tape is broken. Some of our readers report a strange tall man dressed in white taking the metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. Um, so, got two more of these. Uh, let's try the bizarre brute of the blood curdling, curdling botanist. Bizarre brute of the blood curdling botanist. Your neighbor asks you to help. Her husband, Shiro-san, has gone missing. She is worried it might be connected from the new fertilizer he ordered from Tokyo. What is he doing and where is he? So this is Shiro-san. Escape this mystery. You've got a business card of a gardening company where the missing man was working. Maybe some of his colleagues could tell you, tell you something useful. Uh, let's go to the school. Putting your hand in that hole was... God, stop putting your hand in holes! God damn it! You got another bite. So, at least now, I can do this. And now I can just have it treated. Um, this time I got a good one. If I uh, discard this, I get 20 experience, so... I still had to waste, though, some money and, um, and some doom or whatever, so... But let's go to the school again. Uh, okay, well, that was a waste. But there might be some, like, students there to ally with, but you enter the kitchen. Even though it's abandoned, the lights are off. Something is cooking in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Uh, yeah, look for a first aid kit. Can't find the first aid kit. Can't find the first aid kit anywhere. Could have been moved somewhere else. A yet, a new yet unidentified species of the... Cordyceps fungus has been observed to infest, infect rats, taking over their bodies. Could it have the same effect with other mammals? So we we find we find this we find out about this in the whatever. Um. So let's keep doing this. See what fucking happens. Your investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Uh, take a nap world may be falling apart, but you really needed that. So we, we got some stamina and reason back. We we gained some doom, but whatever. Shiro-san has always been a weirdo, but he was good at what he did. Last month, he ordered a pack of an experimental fungicide from Tokyo. I think I've seen a dispatch order with... Uh, I think I've seen this dispatch order with a dress somewhere, the old man says. Help me move this dirt and I'll look for it. So, keep going. You wonder what kind of an animal the spider caught in its web. <laughs> you scare away the annoyed predator, rip open the... Well, you got another nice ring. Uh, well, might as well... Get more funds there. Um, while the dispatch order is stained with a foul-smelling liquid, you can, you think you can make out the address, at least parts of it. The house is somewhere in the nearby forest. Well, we're going to the village. <laughs> walking through walking through the village you're suddenly pulled behind a building two menacing looking masked figures block your escape you serve the old ones uh yes we knew it the prophecies were true the masked figures relax a bit taking off their masks we apologize for this master so yeah we got new we got two um allies but we also um doomed ourselves some more so Okay, we gotta, we gotta, uh, okay, y you don't want, Hermit smiles faintly, Hermit smiles faintly, he, he, never mind, um, yeah, so we can let them go and, and they'll take away the doom, but, um, we'll also lose five reason, we got Masafumi, one point. Plus one damage against ghost enemies. Okay. And, uh, oh yeah. Um. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do this because, uh, I need that reason. And, uh, we can also get some dexterity. I mean, we could. Mm. 
I probably should take this. Thanks, thank you, buddy. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, so we got the reason. So. Uh, and that's a good idea because I don't... I'm never going to be using this because, like I said, I'm low on reason. And what we can do is uh, we can forget spells and we'll gain reason. But since I got that perk, I now have two reason. So. It's dark. You don't remember the trees growing so close with each other. Go for the center one. So now you got like another thing of uh, forest. The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacted in some... They have enacted some sort of ritual in a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is the large rock. Uh, climb it! You fall down and injure yourself. Luckily, you managed to limp away unnoticed. The dirt road you've been following suddenly ends. You have to go back. In the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly. Get closer. Well, help the dog. Free the injured dog. Thankfully, the animal follows you. We have a dog. We have a dog. Wolf. Dog barks knowingly. Dog is wagging, wagging its tail. Dog is wagging its tail. Okay, so we have a dog. Hooray. There we go. So have, oh, we have all these allies. You notice the faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice Jerry, the moment you notice giant hairy balls underneath it, they start to twitch and rise. Oh, oh, these two, these giant hairy balls. Okay. Um, damn, 80% doom and we're plus, plus do two, whatever. Um, yeah, might as well just do this. Bup, 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 bup. Perfect. You stumble upon a half-eaten deer carcass. Yeah, really the close. The trees overhead block the sunlight and begin to feel gloomy. Uh, yeah, just fuck it. It's said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps this this, this is has stepped into it. Uh, let hermit translate the inscription. Well, good we thing we have that hermit with us. Hermit kneels, knowing the rock, and mutters something. After a minute, they stand up and urge you to continue on your dirt. Well, we lose Doom because of that. Thank you, Hermit. Double upon a half-eaten deer carcass. Yep. You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Um, investigate the... Well, search the tent, I guess. Sleeping bag has been torn to shreds. You find a wallet nearby. There's no ID card inside, but you're sure the absent cash is the least of the missing owner's problems. Oh yeah, we just fucking stole someone's wallet. Uh, you should get to the thing by now. God, stop sticking your hands into sp spider holes. When your hand to that hole was a really, really bad idea. Would you please fucking stop seeing the spider blah blah blah? We got another bite, which right now. Again, hopefully it'll go away its own. I don't think it'll ever... I don't think it ever does. I think it always... affects you. Finally, after what felt like hours of following the dirt road, you find the old mansion. It's completely overgrown with plants you've never seen before. In front of the mansion, there's a there's the gardening company's minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. You stand in the middle of the room, and suddenly the floor gives up and you fall down to the basement. Falling through the hole in the floor, you find yourself in an overgrown lake basement. In the corner lies a man you recognize. It's Shiro-san, the missing gardener. You must help him escape this cursed place. Well, so this is a, a special fight. Um, so you're actually helping this dude. The plants 
Plants are attacking you. You must protect the injured, injured Shiro-san and lead him to safety. He will continue to lose health each turn. So instead of attacking anyone, um, you're, you have these special actions, which is protect the gardener, uh, lead the gardener, uh, and then, well, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to look at this one yet, because this is kind of a... Well, all right, let's we'll see. Let's we'll, we'll, we'll lead the gardener. Lead Shiro out of here. Let's try to lead Shiro out of here. The help Shiro on walk towards the exit. Oh, no. He, he got whipped by the vines. Uh-oh. Um, doorway's blocked by brick, thick branches. You need to find another way out. So let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. For some reason, it's only doing three damage, but fine, whatever. Um, well, uh, I don't know. What else do we have here? Um, what's that? Stop and take a closer look at Shiro Sons. Well, I mean, I guess we should do that since, you know, he's probably been attacked by now, so, uh. Shiro, what? Oh, no! The top of Shiro Sons' head flies off, revealing his brain. Out of it, the fruiting body of a fungus. So, yeah, this is even more special. <laughs> this is even special, uh, fight, because now it turns out he's the bad guy. What do you know? Um. Alright, uh. Oh no! Okay. I was trying. I was hoping that they all hit, and now I take all. I took four damage to everything. But well, what do you do? We defeated Shirasan. The fungus dies, and with it, the gardener with no body to grow from. Grow from. You hope that's the end of it. You finally understand something. The plants weren't attacking you. They were protecting you from the unnatural form of life. Weakened, you stumble out of the mansion, hoping to get. Bizarre brute of the blood curling botanist and the So Yeah, that could have gone a bunch of different ways. Uh oh god. The weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Get them aligned with us even more. So yeah, so basically it'll take more time if you or, or yeah, these will take more time, whatever. But um yeah, we're we're pretty low. Keep doing dexterity, see what happens. Of all these, I mean, I could get I could get rid of the hermit, but I would I would die of reason loss. Um, so we got one more left. The macabre memoir of morbid uh, morbid murder. Mur uh, ah. Guess we have the six funds or whatever. Um, the janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He collected every scrap of legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snap. He decided to take to make one of his own, using unfortunate student bodies as materials. So go to the hospital. Now this is a bite. Oh now it's an affected you find yourself in an old unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. Discussing the smell of thawed remains still lingering in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where the doctor determined the cause of death. Well let's fucking Pull the cloth off the section table. What could go wrong there? Before you can uncover, cover the. Before you can uncover what's hiding under the cloth, you involuntarily let scream and run out of the mortuary in terror. Because I'm a dumb dumb. Oh, I should have entered the hospital, not investigated it, but whatever. Doctor's office. Then I get the infected room. Then I get the surgery. You get the discharge. Blah blah blah. We're almost dead. Who cares? Oh, let's eat the long pig. Let's see what happens there. Uh-oh, now we got the hunger. They look tasty. Gee, I wonder what was in that long pig. Uh, now it's making us ravishly hungry. Uh-oh. Like that long pig might not have actually been pig. <gasps> so if you if you don't know, long pig is another word is another word for human meat. That's what long pig means. I don't know why it's called long pig, but I guess I guess we are I guess human beings are long pigs, I guess. So that's what makes us long pig and you know, long pig meat would be whatever. <sighs> Go downtown. Investigate the alley. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind. You decide to visit your parents' old friend, a father you see Yasugi. Hey kiddo! There's a priest who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Could you lend me a hand? 
Lift, uh, well, don't overwork yourself. You only, you only pick up the smallest boxes, but the whole thing makes you, takes you more time than you expected. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxiety. You gain free reason, but you're also, but also too doomed. Asking around the neighborhood got you some results. It seems that all the girls attended the same school. Well, let's go to the, let's go to the school. Let's go to the fucking school with the dog. Suddenly, you're getting close to a problem. Oh no, the time warper. Um, Jesus. Uh. Oh, we know we, we now have 110 percent to hit. We can do 15 damage. Um. Well. All miss all missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. Maybe something. Maybe someone saw the kidnappers stalking them. Let's go to the school. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your track. One of the stall doors has opened on its own. Just close the door. You walk to the door and try to close it, but something is blocking it. When you look up, you see a ghostly pale hand holding the door. Prepare for combat. You back off the toilet from the toilet as the door slowly opens. A girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists unnaturally as she makes a whirring, rattling noise. A door behind you slams shut. Toilet ghost! Uh, oh. Yeah, this is a ghost, so we can't... We can only do, like, this stuff. We can do the clapping, the praying, but we're, we're gonna die. Um, the clapping, the bowing. Um, the only thing I can do is just fucking... Use my steak knife to cut... But it doesn't matter, we're, we're, we're fucked. If we, if we don't gain enough reason by the beginning of the next encounter, we're, we're gonna die. And that's probably gonna keep... In fact, it might even it might happen even quicker. Wait, what's that? Corpse dust. Ah, oh, there we go. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped, and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane. That new old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made those horrors disappear. So yeah, we went insane. You perished. Reason loss. Uh oh. So, fortunately, that didn't, that we didn't win. What are you going to do? You can't win them all. That's the thing about this game. This game isn't so much about winning as it is about trying your best in a nearly impossible circumstance. I mean, we're, we're talking about Junji Ito and, like, Lovecraft shit, where you're pretty much fucked. And, it, like, in all, and in all those studies, you're, if, you're, if you're the main character of a Junji Ito and or a Lovecraft story, you're pretty much fucked. 